Hey everyone, this is Sergey from Axelor. Pretty excited to give you a very quick demo of what it takes to onboard a new chain with the Axelor network. And the goal of this is really twofold. So one, we wanna demonstrate to you just the ease of onboarding. As you'll see through a few commands run on the Axelor decentralized network, we'll be able to make a new connection with a different ecosystem. And two, by connecting more and more of these ecosystems through the Axelor stack, we naturally get very strong compounded effects where developers can start interacting and transferring information and assets from one of these ecosystems to another without adding any more processes for them. So let's get started. So for the purpose of the demo, we're going to create a connection between an avalanche network and the Axel network. And the first thing that really has to happen is we need to specify a parameters configuration uh, JSON file. Okay. That includes very basic information, for instance, um, how many blocks do you need to wait for in order to uh, finalize a transaction on the chain. So because Avalanche is, uh, has instant finality properties, uh, that's pretty straightforward. So we can pick one block um, confirmation in this uh, JSON file, and that's it. Um, once the JSON file is configured, and you need to specify a couple other parameters in there, uh, we need to add Avalanche chain uh, with the corresponding JSON file and submit this transaction uh, to the Axel network. So underneath it, all of the validators receive this message and then they uh, see an intent to onboard uh, an Avalanche chain to the uh, network itself. Now, the second phase of the process is for the validators to register an intent to become chain maintainers for Avalanche. So what that means is that they have to run a small um, Avalanche node and uh, expose its RPC endpoint and point their Axel validators um, to the uh, RPC endpoint and then run a command uh, to register themselves as a chain maintainer that uh, simply says that I am going to service commands or service transactions in and out of this uh, new ecosystem. Now, once you have sufficient support from the validators, so we'll pass a certain threshold, we need to deploy a gateway to the Avalanche chain. And a gateway is simply a smart contract that can read and write uh, information uh, from that chain. Okay. So Axel validators will collectively observe this gateway and see for the information that comes to it. And they'll similarly post information to the gateway in order to execute write operations on the Avalanche chain. So um, the first thing that happens in the gateway deployment is that we generate a key that's uh, going to be shared across all of the validators. Okay? And you can use different schemes for this. You can use you know, multi-signatures or a threshold crypto. Um, and um, the basic property that you're trying to satisfy is that no single validator can actually execute commands uh, on this gateway. And instead, we're going to require a majority of validators to uh, collectively authorize any decision. And only then the request is valid on the um, gateway itself. So once the validators register the keys and um, the gateway is signed with that key, we can take the corresponding payload and um, post it to the um, Avalanche chain uh, through any uh, wallet. And this is a one-time process. Remember, once this is done, um, you know this no longer needs to be done. And subsequently, all of the validators are going to just observe the gateway and the information that arrives at it. So here we've seen the gateway is being uh, deployed. It should be pretty quick for the transaction to go through. So here it is. Um, the transaction is now uh, finalized. So that's it. Now we have a gateway that has been deployed. Now the next thing that we're going to do for the purpose of this demonstration is to register a couple of custom token contracts for um, the Avalanche chain. And so what that means is that we'll be able to transfer these assets from other ecosystems um, to the Avalanche and mint them in a corresponding ERC-20 representation. 
Okay, so this token contract is pretty straightforward. It's uh, kind of regular ERC-20 contract and it's linked with a gateway. And um, uh, it knows that uh, specific commands can come from the gateway to, in order to perform like mint and burn operations and so on and so forth. So we'll deploy three token contracts here for Axler token, UST and Luna. And then subsequently we're going to sign it with the uh, validator key and uh, get the corresponding payload. And we're gonna submit this payload to the gateway. So we're gonna do a send transaction to the gateway. We're gonna copy paste the signed payload. So adjust some gas fees just to cover it. And that's it. And then we just uh, deploy it. And this is also a one-time process, right? Once a, a specific uh, ERC-20 or token contract has been deployed, um, you know, this token can transfer across the ecosystem and be, um, and be minted and burned correspondingly on the Avalanche chain. All right, so once the token contracts are deployed, the final step in this is to uh, confirm the um, token contracts on the Axel network. Uh, so this is finalizes this, this link. Um, this is pretty straightforward. Again, another command that we just run on the network, all of the validators um, approve it collectively, and the token contract is subsequently linked so you can see token deployment confirmation result is true for all of the three assets that we have deployed. And that's it. From this moment on, um, users can take the uh, token contract addresses and you, know, you can find it by looking at the contracts themselves or by querying the network or you know, looking through some of the documentation and um, you can interact with the contract, you can uh, link it to the uh, MetaMask wallet or any other wallet that you're using and uh, be able to see the asset. So again, here just to summarize as this uh, part one is wrapping up, what we have done is really um, something really, really fundamental, right? We created a connection to a new ecosystem with a very um, sophisticated consensus mechanism without even understanding what this consensus mechanism was. And we have done it on a decentralized network in under seven minutes. Okay, that's really powerful. And so in this part two, all we're going to do is to show you how subsequently token transfers can happen from Axel Network to the Avalanche Network using the previously minted ERC-20 contract. The first thing that happens is that you have to register a link request from an Axel Network to the Avalanche and specify what asset you want to transfer and what is the destination address in which you want to receive this asset. Okay, so you can see here, we registered an asset uh, 068 uh, and so on and so forth. And this gives you a deposit address on the Axel network where you need to send your funds. Okay, and this um, address is something you can send your funds to from anywhere. Okay, from your trust wallet, from an exchange, from um, Kepler wallet or anywhere really. It's a regular deposit address where a standard transaction needs to send their uh, tokens. And once that's done, we just need to confirm the transaction on the network. Typically, this is done either by background process or an application like a you know, bridging application would just execute a confirmation of the deposit when it see as it arrives. Or you, know, you can even do these things uh, from your own wallet if you had some Axler tokens, but usually there are processes that are automating these things um, or applications that are automating these things that are built around the network. And so once that's done, what we can do is we can generate a batch of commands 
that needs to be posted to the Axelon network and sign this batch with the previously generated validator key. Okay. This batch could include uh, transactions from many other chains. Okay, so from Axel Network, from Ethereum, from Terra, all of the users that send the request at around the same time as you are will be batched and uh, put together in the same outgoing transaction that will be submitted to the Avalanche Network. So this batch is signed and uh, anybody can then post it on the destination chain. Okay, so if you had a bridging application, that bridging application can post it. You can even have users that post it through MetaMask if they want to cover their own transaction fees or, again, automate this process through um, some other mechanism. Once that batch is posted, that's it. Everybody that had a um, destination transaction to the Avalanche with their minted tokens, um, whether or not it was you know Axela tokens or UST, they will all be included in the same batch and all the users will get their assets at the same time from that batch. Okay. And then you can continue doing so. So users send the transactions, batches are generated on the network signed and posted on the destination chain. That's about it. Okay, so as you can see, what we really built is a very generalizable, very advanced platform where making new connections is straightforward where deploying custom token contracts is really straightforward and getting strong and huge networking effects from it. Okay, so that's it. Thanks so much for paying attention to this video. If you have any questions, go to our website. Um, you can read some information there, sign up on Discord. Um, you can always drop us a line there. Uh, you can tag uh, our team and uh, we'll take a look and um, you know help you uh, get going and uh, build your application or your specific use case uh, for the cross-chain ecosystem. So super excited to, to work with all of you. Thanks all, bye-bye.